I'm out exploring today again. Um, actually looking for a site to start my third TP and I think I've found it here. That spot right there, it's a nice high spot. It gets some sunshine. It's in about as good of a spot uh, as I'll be able to find in this area because it's not easy to get into. It's easy enough for me if you know the way, um, but I don't see any signs of anyone ever being here before. No signs at all, no garbage, no fire pits, that it, old fire pits or anything like that. No sign at all. So that tells me that this area is not frequented by people. And maybe never sees people at all. I don't know. There are areas around here that, uh, what's that? A big hawk or something just, oh, he's right there. There he goes, eh, flying overhead. That's a good sign. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, um, I like it. It's not exactly right by the water, but it's close enough for me to get water if I need it. Um, I really like this spot right here. It's just the right size for a TP, the base of a 18 foot TP or so. And this TP I'm going to build here is going to be different than the others. And it's going to be different because of its location. Um, on this particular TP, I'm going to build a tarp TP, not a fully enclosed uh, pole TP like uh, that's got poles all the way around it. It's more tr a traditional TP that I'm going to put here. I'll put in. Oh, there's that. There's a big hawk flying up there. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a certain amount of poles up. Uh, I'm a, it depends on how many I can find around here. And uh, a crow, <laughs> or, a, or a raven. It's a raven, yeah. Well, I like all the sounds. Nice thing to wake up to. Anyways, um, yeah, this is a real nice spot. I like it. Uh, I did a little bit of searching in the bush, and uh, I, things paid off by searching in the bush because I don't think anybody comes here at all. And this, like I, like I said, I'll put a, a tarp teepee up here, which will be quicker to build, by the way. I have a, a tarp already, a, a green tarp. Uh, I wouldn't want to be using anything like blue or, or, or white or anything like that because it sticks out too much. Although this is right in the bush, you know, no matter what I used, it wouldn't be visible from the uh, lake or from any... There's no, there's really no roads or or uh, trails close by here, close enough. Uh, so, yeah, the green tarp will suffice here, and uh, this TP will probably be one of the first ones that's finished actually, because, like I said, I'm going to be using a tarp on it, which is a much faster way to build. Anyways, uh, let's just take a look around the area. There's some real nice area here, uh, some nice big trees as you can see. And there's an area out here that I would want to put a, a fire pit in the middle of for an outside fire pit. I'll show it to you here. Right out here. See that area there? Put a fire pit right in the middle of that area. You'd have some beautiful fires at night and you'd be able to see all the stars in the sky. And it's pretty well hidden from anyone. Um, of course, if you're burning in the daytime and... Uh, you got a lot of smoke on the fire, then people will see that smoke, you know, coming up from the bushes, no matter where they are, from far away. And they might want to investigate what it is, so I would uh, restrict my fires to evening and night. The outside fires, the inside fires not so much because uh, they will be small fires and they won't produce too much smoke. It's a nice spot, real nice spot. It's a bit rough to get in here, but uh, I think once I uh, come a few times and do a little exploring, <clears throat> a little exploring around here, uh, I'll be able to find the easiest way to get in. 
but I don't want to I don't want to be creating any trails because people love to follow trails I know I do myself so uh, there's there's yeah you know, there's some nice white pines around here the white pine right there and there's some red pines too that's a red pine over there there's some big red pines in here some more white pines here see very nice spot excellent spot it's isolated from everything my kayak is way way over that way <laughs> I walked into the bush a bit to get here but um, I really like this spot and put a fire pit right in here somewhere and right in the middle of this big open space so we can sit around and have a good time around the campfire at night um, so now what I have to do now is I'm gonna go see if I can get down to the shoreline of the lake uh, from this spot see if I can find an easier spot to land my kayak because my right now my kayak must be uh, I don't know um, at least 500 yards that way I think so I'm going to do uh, this is the teepee spot again I'm going to try to make it down to the shore of the lake from here and see if I can find an easy spot to land okay let's do that